Hello, welcome to 30 minutes of chair yoga and breathing, which we'll do at the end. We're going to start to get our body flexible and ready to sit comfortably and just focus on our breath. We'll start by sitting on the edge of our chair, bring the feet about hip distance apart, and just rest the hands on the knees. We'll close the eyes and we'll become aware of our breath. Just feel the breath in your nostrils as you breathe in. Feel the breath leave through the nostrils. And as you breathe in, feel your lungs fill with air. Feel the chest rise, feel the stomach rise. Feel the ribcage expand. And as you exhale, feel that air leave your body. Inhale slowly. And exhale all the way. Inhale and feel that energy go into your body. And exhale and relax your shoulders. Relax your back. And with the eyes still closed, we're going to shift our torso from side to side. Here, it's time to go into our spine a little bit here. Just Getting ourselves a little bit loose in our body. Which also goes from side to side. And then our hips can rise a little bit here as well. We'll come back to where we were still in our body, but with a nice straight spine, with a relaxed spine, hopefully. And we're going to start rolling the shoulders to the back, forwards up to the back and down. Hands can stay where they are, or you can drop the arms by your side, whatever you prefer. Now drop the chin to the chest, but keep rolling your shoulders. And release, raise the head, raise it all the way to the ceiling, stretch your throat, look up. Maybe if it's comfortable, drop the head a little bit further. So careful here, only do what's comfortable. Slowly come back and gently drop the chin to the chest again. Now roll your shoulders forward, so from the back up to the front and down. Again, the arms can be dropped here as well. Just let the shoulders do this movement. Good. And from here. Straighten the head. We roll the shoulders up to the back, down, and we bring the hands behind us. So we're going to hold on to your chair here. Now push your chest out. I'm going to turn so you can see a little bit better. From here, we'll come into a little back bend, pushing the chest out, squeezing the shoulder blades, looking to the front, or if it's comfortable, looking up to the ceiling. Keep squeezing the shoulder blades really, really strongly. And breathe into your front body here. You feel the chest, you'll feel your belly a little bit stretched. So you might be able to feel that breath a bit more there. Now slowly come out of this little back bend. And from here, bring your forearms onto your thighs and just drop the head. So just relaxing here. And if you want to come a little bit lower, you can come all the way down here. Chest resting on your thighs, the arms heavy, reaching for the ground. Good. And while we're here, either with that right hand on the right foot or ankle, or if you're higher, with the forearm on your leg, breathe in and raise the left arm. Look up to the ceiling. You 
If you find that looking up to the ceiling is uncomfortable for your neck, then do adjust, look to the right, or sorry, to the left, or look down to the ground. So just make the suppose that's enjoyable for you, that works for you and releases some of that tension that you can feel from sitting for too long. So that's, that's all we're here to do. Lower that arm and we're gonna do the other side. Breathe in, raise your right arm, reach it high. Whether we're quite low in the torso or whether we're a little bit higher, doesn't really matter. It's about how we feel. It's always about how we feel. Good, and we slowly come down. And from here, drop your head, round your back, and come up. Good, and we're gonna roll the shoulders to the back. And we're gonna raise the arms. Good, from here, palms facing down. Keep the hands in line with the shoulders. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Drop your left ear to the left shoulder. And just take a few deep breaths here. I haven't said it yet, so I'll say it now. Just put a smile on your face. Good thing is, it doesn't cost a thing. Not a thing. Fewer muscles, actually, than when we're frowning. And from here, roll the chin to the chest. Bring your ear back towards the shoulder. And roll the chin to the chest. Now, as we do this, we want to be aware of the breath. Inhale as you bring your ear towards the shoulder. Exhale as you bring the chin to the chest. One more time, inhale. And exhale, chin to chest. And from here, drop the arms, give them a shake, straighten your head. We've got another side to look forward to. So arms rise again, make sure the hands stay in line with the shoulders. As they get tired, they want to drop a little bit. So we'll try to work the arms here too. Now drop your right arm, uh, your right arm, your right ear down to the right shoulder. And hold here, taking deep breaths. And I know the arms are getting heavy. My arms are getting heavy as well. But stay with me for a little bit longer. Take a deep breath in. And on the exhale, roll the chin down to the chest. From here, bring the ear back to the shoulder. Remember your breath. On an exhale, roll the chin to the chest. Inhale, bring the ear to the shoulder. Exhale, chin to chest. One last time, inhale, ear to shoulder. Exhale, chin to chest, and then drop the arms and shake off. And slowly straighten the head, very well done. Good, now from here, deep breath in, raise the arms. Now grab hold of your right wrist and reach over to the left, stretching into your right side here. You can keep looking to the front, or you can look up to the ceiling. Good. We keep breathing as we reach a little bit deeper. Deep breath in and we exhale and come back where we were. Release that grip of your wrist and grab hold of your left wrist instead. Inhale here and exhale. Reach your torso and arms over to the right. You can keep looking to the front. You can look up to the ceiling if you like. Uh, and what's not optional is your breath. So keep that breath steady and relaxed. Deep breath in and exhale, come back and release the arms. Lots of arm action today. So shake off the arms, shake off the shoulders. Hands onto the knees, drop the chin to the chest. And from here, take your chin over to your collarbone. Hold here. While you do that, slide the shoulders down. If you want a little bit more, grab hold of your chair here or underneath your chair and pull. 
so that you really push the shoulders down and feel a deep stretch again through the arms. We keep holding and release the arms, give them a shake, hands onto the knees again, roll the chin to the chest. And from here, bring your chin towards the other collarbone, slide the shoulders down again. So very active here in the arms. If you want more, grab hold of your chair. And this is where I want you to feel it, just right down your neck here, maybe even down towards your shoulder blade of the left side. And we release the arms. We roll the chin to the chest. Now, as you shake off the arms and shoulders, let your torso come forwards as low as you can, as you did before. You can drop your torso on your legs if you're that comfortable. And breathe. And then slowly roll up through the spine. That means we kind of come up one vertebra at a time, keeping the head dropped until the very last moment. Very good. Oh, that felt good. We're going to stand up now. And we're going to bring the hands onto the chair. And we're going to bend our legs and we'll straighten them. Bend and straighten. Bend, straighten. Bend and straighten. If you want more, come onto your forearms. And then bend and straighten, bend and straighten. So careful here with the backs of the legs, hamstrings get very tight if you sit a lot. Nice and relaxed. And a couple more. Good, and from here, straight legs again, keep a mini bend in them if you need to. Rise up onto your toes. If you need to, come onto your hands for this. If you want to, stay on your forearms. Lower the heels now, and rise up onto the tiptoes. And as we keep doing that, we can increase a little bit of the strength of our calves by not releasing the heels all the way to the ground, just hovering them there, and keep this movement nice and controlled. So not pushing up here and going down, all controlled. Good, feel your calves, feel your ankles, and this beautiful. And we breathe. And you're like, I'm so glad I tuned in. Not for much longer, but stay with me. And release. You might want to shake off the legs here. And we'll come back to seated. Now bring your left ankle onto the right knee. Sit comfortably, nice and straight. And gently push your knee down. Good. Now from here, you can stay where you are and just raise that right arm. We've got the option of coming lower, bringing our whole left arm onto that leg or if you want just the forearm onto the leg. And we're gonna raise the arm here. So see where you're comfortable, what makes you comfortable. Maybe you want to add a little bit of pressure here on the knee. Different options for different bodies. Okay, we breathe in through the nose, out through the nose. As before, you can look to the side or you can look down if that's better for your neck. And then slowly lower that arm and come up to the straight spine. Keep that knee heavy for a little bit longer. Now bring your right hand onto that left knee. Left hand comes onto the right waist. That's a little bit much. 
If you prefer having the hand behind you, that's fine as well. Now take a deep breath in and straighten your spine. Imagine someone pulling at the crown of your head. And then exhale and twist, pushing that left shoulder to the back. If you want, you can look to the side here. You can even look to the front. It's not so much about what the cervical spine is doing here. You know how mobile it is. It doesn't need it. Not as much as our lumbar spine. And from there, we're going up. One vertebra after another is gently twisting here from the tailbone up. Just like a spiral staircase. And we slowly release. Now I had might want us to go the other way. So knees on top of each other here. And intertwine the legs. That means that left foot can come underneath the right as well. Arms go to the front and we'll bring that left arm on top of the right and push the elbows down. Hands can touch, but don't need to. Just remember here, the elbows. That we feel a nice open upper back and we feel our shoulders here. Deltoids, that big muscle that sits on top of your shoulder. And we breathe. Now we'll keep our spine straight here too. We don't come forwards in any way. We're nice and straight in the spine. And from here, raise that left arm, drop the hand behind you, and either grab hold of your hand at the back, or use your right hand to push the elbow towards or behind your head. And we're still looking to the front. We can close the eyes if we want, but we're not going to drop the chin, we're not going to round the shoulders forward. We're very proud of how straight we can sit here. Good. Now from here, release, shake off, and we'll do the other side. Now if you want to, you can straighten the legs, give that leg a little shake, do what you feel you need to do to make this next side comfortable for you without focusing too much on the left hip. So right foot onto the left knee. Gently pushing that left knee down, uh, sorry, right knee. So we want to make sure that we're not comparing sides here. It's completely normal for one side to be easier than the other, to, to feel different, to be tighter. So all of that is fine. Just go with how this side is feeling. And then gentle pressure here, not too much. Raise that left arm to the ceiling, stretching into the side. Come a little bit lower if you want. Noticing how you're twisting here, or come even lower, twisting, looking up to the ceiling, over to the side or down to the ground. So do right by your neck muscles. We don't want to add to any tension that we're already feeling, if we are. And then focus on your breath. Feel your stomach rise and fall. Good. And then slowly release. Straighten your torso. Shoulders over the hips. And from here, left hand comes onto the right knee. Right hand comes either onto the left waist or behind us onto the chair. Now deep breath in, lengthen through the spine. Breathe out and twist towards the back. And it's not so much a twist, it's just starting by looking to the right, pushing the right shoulder to the back, and then using that to gently twist. And it's much, much better to stay straight in the spine, but not twist as deep instead of rounding and then twisting. This is not what we want. That doesn't increase spinal mobility at all. And we need those deep breaths too. Every part of our body needs those deep breaths. Okay. 
and slowly come back. Great, and then from here, knee comes on top of the left knee. You can bring that foot around if we want. If we feel that's a little wobbly, obviously this is fine as well. And then our arms come to the front. We'll bring that right arm on top of the left and push the elbows down, either staying here, don't worry about the hands, or bringing the hands together. Good, and then push the elbows down. Check on your back. You wanna be nice and straight here. And sometimes what happens when you stay where you are is that when we're here, we just sort of wanna come forwards a little bit. I don't want you to do that. I want you to really stay straight in the spine and just push the elbows down as low as they can get. And yes, a little bit of pressure, but you're not working against your body here. This is your body, so you wanna be kind to it. You just have the one body. And we breathe. Good. And from here, raise your right arm. Drop the hand behind you. Keep it wherever it can get you. If it's somewhere there, that's fine. What you can do then is grab hold of the hand and gently push. It doesn't have to be, or pull even in this case, it doesn't have to be that you're pushing against the elbow. And of course you can bind your hands behind you too. So as always with yoga, there are many different options. There's not one right way of doing this. You just need to see what's good for your body and feeling your body is fine. But if there's something that you know isn't good for your body, we're kind of good at noticing what isn't good and what is good for us. We're just sometimes not very good at listening to that. So that's all we need to do. Just listen to what's okay and what isn't. Good. And then from here, release, shake off the arms. Release the legs, give them a shake, stretch them out. You can stand up and give yourself a shake as well if you want. And then from here, whenever you're ready, come to seated, sitting on the edge of the chair, straight spine. So again, edge of the chair rather than here, not rounding, nice and straight. Hands on the knees, eyes closed. And we'll remember our beginning. Breath work. Just observing the breath going in through the nostrils and out. Maybe drop the chin to the chest. And then notice how you can feel the breath in the back of your throat. Slowly bring the left ear to the left shoulder. And roll the chin down to the chest. From here, right ear to right shoulder. Take your time until you get there. And take a deep breath in. And on the exhale, roll the chin back down to the chest. Round your back, bring the shoulders forward, bring the arms forward. And then straighten your back, straighten the head, the eyes stay closed, the hands stay on the knees or thighs. And we slowly breathe in and feel our chest, rib cage and stomach rise. As we breathe out, we feel the stomach, rib cage, and chest fall. Slowly in, slowly out, in through the nose, out through the nose. Good. 
Now try and slow down your exhalation. In all the way. And out all the way. Now as you inhale, count. Don't worry how long you count, just see what number you're getting to as you're inhaling. Exhale slowly. And again, count as you inhale from one up to wherever you're getting to. And out slowly. Now, whichever number you're stopping at as you're counting in, Count out for twice that number. If you're breathing in until four, breathe out until eight. Breathing in until three, breathe out until six, and so on. In all the way, just keeping that in breath, the way that is comfortable. And then adjusting the exhalation, slowing down. And we can really slow down our exhalation so much. When we're talking, we're also exhaling, but we're doing it very, very slowly. And sometimes if we're nervous and we're talking, we're letting go of much more air. Here we can take our time because there's no need to be nervous. And we breathe in and out for twice as long. In through the nose, and out through the nose. Keeping that ratio of one to two up. In for one, and out for two. And the next thing we'll do Keeping that breath exactly as it is, is raising our right hand and using the right thumb to close off the right nostril. Next time you breathe in, breathe in just through the left. And as you breathe out, use the forefinger of your right hand to close off the left nostril, breathing out through the right. And on every inhale, we stay where we are, breathing in through that nostril. And then before we exhale, we change hands. So that we're breathing out through the opposite nostril. Breathing in where we are. Changing sides, exhaling through the other nostril. Very easy. In for three. Out for six. In for four, out for eight. In for five, out for ten. Whatever your numbers are. Whatever your lung capacity is, whatever it lets you do. Get more and more comfortable here. More and more comfortable in slowing down the exhalation. And know that you don't have to rush the inhale. Do a couple more rounds like that in your own time, letting the inhalation determine how slow you're exhaling. Really savoring both the inhalation and the exhalation. Go until you're done, and when you're done, release the hands. Keep the eyes closed. Lower the chin to the chest. Round your back. Bring your forearms onto your thighs. 
And then shift your weight over towards the right. So the torso comes to the right a little bit. And back to center. And then weight goes over to the left, just gently. And back. Now hands onto the knees. Round your back as you come up, straightening the arms, straightening the torso, keeping the head dropped until the very last, and then straightening the head too. And we'll keep the eyes closed as we inhale and raise the arms all the way up to the ceiling. Interlock the hands, push the palms away from you here, and then stretch into the right side and to the, into the left by reaching the arms over to the sides a couple of times. And breathing in at the same time. And then we float the arms down. We shake off the arms and shoulders. We drop the chin to the chest. Slowly open the eyes here. And we raise the head. Thank you as always for joining me. And I will see you again soon.